Hey, 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 it's time to talk about the first homework assignment. Um, I just have like a quick, uh, this is what they look like. So um, here's mine. I'm going to get rid of my face down here. Um, look at how short my hair was. Um, okay, so uh, this is an example. This is one big image. I just took a bunch of photos and then I made like four, like panels of four. Um, you can do whatever you want. Basically, the narrative should be five pages long. The very first page should be index.html. Make sure that your your other pages, um, you can name them like page 01, page 02, um, .html, just no spaces and no uppercase in the folder or file names. Um, but anyway, here's my first page. It's just a link, an image, and another link. Um, and here's an H1 probably, and here's like a paragraph, right? So did I make it? Yeah, you don't even, like, you can only navigate with these links. So that's basically, this This is the same as index. See how there's no file name here? It's because the browser knows that index is the page that you want to start with. So see, same thing. Um, okay, next page I named 01 tear. So I like to kind of name things so I know what they are um, instead of just like page one, page two. So in this case, I was like, well, this is like sub page one, but I'm also, it's like tearing, right? Then next page, this one, O2 pull. So I'm trying to pull the bag. Um, this one, O3 knife. And then... Um, this is 04, which is the fifth page because I didn't name index 01. I named it index. Um, this is the fifth page. So you can go forward. This will take you back to index, right? But you should also be able to go backwards. So this should go from two to one and one to index. So um, keep an eye on that URL. Index back to page. Oh, I guess it starts there. Cool. Uh, yeah, whatever you want to do there. But one to two to three, back to two. So you want to make sure that this is a, a, a smooth flow from like four to five to, yeah, you get the picture. Um, all right, so let's do it. Let's do this thing. So I recommend, let's see. So this is your home page. You're going to have like subfolders with like different projects inside of it. So, um, Click on, you want to like, you know, just click on, I just want to make sure it goes in this folder, not in one of these subfolders. So like if you click on index, it'll put it out here with index, but um, make a folder, maybe call it homework. I don't know. Or um, yeah, I don't know. You probably have like a homework folder and some project folders. So we'll just say homework. And then inside homework with this selected, I want to click on a new file. Oh, sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm going to have more than one homework assignment. So I want a new folder inside there. And I'm going to call it HW1 or narrative um, or whatever. HW1 suits me just fine. And this is a weird thing about Visual Studio Code. See how like now it's not showing the contents of homework because it's empty. Make sure that when you make a file that you've selected HW1 and then click index or click new file, make an index.html, hit enter. And here's our index file. It lives in HW1 and we're gonna give it a boilerplate. So we're gonna do exclamation point and then hit the tab key or you can click here and this is going to be like five page narrative will be the start. So what I recommend doing, what a mess I'm making, is set up the page completely with um, your like, maybe like your H1. Um, I'll just, I'll just make a copy. How to open a bag of kettle chips. And then um, down here, basically, you're going to have a link um, that's going to be like 
going back, so I'll just call it back, then you're going to have an image. And um, I'll grab the images in a minute. Um, and then after the image, you're going to have a link that goes to next. Um, while we're at it, so make sure HW1 or whatever you called it is highlighted. Make a new folder and put your images inside there. So this is where Visual Studio Code gets a little funky, right? This folder is on the same level as your main home page. And you always want to use like index as the, the like file inside folders. So just watch out, like make sure that you are using the right file, like when you go to do stuff and make sure that this file needs to be next to this folder in order for you to like get to those images. So I'm going to pause, drag some images over. I'll be right back. All right, just so you can see, here's my finder. So um, if I close this folder, here's my main thing. Um, this is a little invisible Git folder. I don't even think you can see it on yours. I turned mine on so I can see invisible stuff. So ignore that. You have one. You just can't see it. Ha ha. Here's my homepage. Here's the CSS that goes with my homepage, images that go with my homepage. Here's my homework folder. If I open this up, then here's my homework one folder. I open that up. There's my index and there's the images that go with my index. So I'm going to just drag them on over from, I'm just going to like recreate this thing. So I'm going to select them. I'm going to hold down option and just make a copy. This is just for me. Um, these arrow icons, I don't remember where I found them. I just searched for left arrow, right arrow, probably just find whatever you find. Um, You'll want to trim them. You can trim them in preview really quickly just so they're like tight. You don't want like a lot of white space around them. It'll drive you crazy. Okay, now we have images. Let's go back. Okay, so um, I could just like, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to say page 01 because I have no idea when I'm, I'm just like winging it. Oops, page 01 HTML. I'm going to remind you, don't put spaces in file names. Don't do it. Don't do it here. Don't do it here. Don't even have images with spaces. See how I've removed all the spaces and added a dash or an underscore? Do it. Do that. Don't do other things. Okay. Source. Um, so index. I want to go into images and find one of those images. So I'm going to say images at slash and then... I think it's probably intro. Cool. Maybe I'll add a back. Back will be like page four. So we can go backwards and forwards. Um, let's take a look at this page. So, um, so here's a trick. We already have our thing open. So there's a couple options. We could just type in slash homework slash HW1. Let's do that for fun. Um, do, 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 do. Here we are here, right? Oh, sorry. This is on the public server. We can't access that because we haven't pushed it up. So I'm going to close that so we don't get confused. <clears throat> this is our computer. Um, so I'm going to back up to the just forward slash so the index.html isn't there. And then I'm going to say forward slash homework forward slash hw1 because that's what I named my folders. And I don't even have to do forward slash index.html because the browser is just going to look for an index.html file and load it. So if I do this, there's my page. Um, oh yeah, I didn't put arrows in. And then um, see how like back and next are at the bottom? Um, how can you fix that? How can you fix that really easily? Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, let me try a couple things just so I can help you out. You know, we're just going to use Flexbox because it is the easiest way to do things. Um, so uh, let's put these in a, a little container. So I'm going to say div 
um, I want the closing div to be down below the link like this. This is kind of like why you want to do one page and get it right before you do the other pages. Um, just indenting because I can't help myself. Um, let's call it container. Oops. Cut. Paste. Okay, so this is going to have a class of container. I don't want to put it up here because then I'll have to change every page every time I do something different. So um, I'm just going to add a file in here. So I'm going to click on homework one. I'm going to right click and say new file. I'm going to call it style.css. And then back to the index of my home page. We're up anywhere in the head, but make sure it's in between this tag and this tag. Type the word link. Hit, uh, well, let's just do this one because it's cool. But hit tab and then point to the link or just click on this and then ta-da. So this will find the right file because these two are right next to each other. So index is going to look here. Um, yeah, remember, do not ever do this in this class. It's just not a, it's out of the scope of this class. Okay, cool. We have a div. We have some things in the div. Let's um, add some style. So I'm going to say, so dot container is the class I just made. And I'm going to say, I want you to display flex. Okay, let's go to the browser and see if that, oh, it already made it better. Maybe that's all we do. Um, the explicit way to do that is to say align items pop or flex start. Yeah, flex start. Oops, flex start. Um, and that should be the start of the line. Um, the way I remember, there's justify and there's align. Align is like, you know, like the capital letter A. It's like an arrow going up and down. So it means like the a line on the vertical, whereas like justify is horizontal. Okay, so maybe that's all we need. Um, let's go back to our index. Um, oh yeah, I was going to say you can either explicitly go there or we could shut down our server. And then um, here's a little trick. The page that you want to load in the browser have it open. So here's my homepage index. Right click on it and you can say open with live server. And that should open that page. Cool beans. All right. Um, page one. Done. Um, oh, maybe I, I need to say like step one, um, whatever. Look at the bag. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, cool. So now we have this. Cool. Um, all right. So now I'm going to right click on this file and I'm going to say copy. And then I'm going to, um, I don't know. Isn't there a way to duplicate? Uh, duplicate workspace. No. Save as, I guess. I guess save as. Copy, rename, open. Fine. Save as. Save as is probably the easiest. Okay, make sure you're in the right place. Homework one. Um, page, we'll just call the second page, page 01. Maybe I should be smart and call it 02, but I'm not smart. Step two, do something. Oh, okay, make sure you're in the right page. So there's page 01. I like to kind of sh close the files I don't need anymore. So now it's just a matter of changing the text and pictures. So step two... Let's see what step two is. Um, if I delete that and then I do forward slash um, intro pull, I think. Pull is the next one. Oh, we didn't do the arrows. Okay, if you wanna have a, an image that links, basically instead of text, you just do an image tag. Image, and then remember you need SRC. And then you can do images slash, and then the one on top is left. And then this one, delete that. 
image src equals quote quote make sure you close it kind of easier to like do this sort of thing so you can kind of see you know that like your tags are closed at the end um and all that good stuff if you don't you'll get like weird like see how this is red there's actually nothing wrong with this usually it's telling you this doesn't work because the thing above it is broken okay so um image source images arrow right um for the sake of speed um i'm just gonna uh soldier on but you could just like before you change this page well i'm whatever i might as well div copy index div just paste on top of it there you go and i guess we should make sure it looks okay cool arrows yay and it looks like they work um remember if your image is like too big like this is too big um you want to like make it smaller so uh we could say this one i mean you could i would recommend actually physically making the image smaller like giving it smaller dimensions but um we'll just make a class called image and then in style we're gonna say dot image because the arrows are fine it's just this one and we'll give it a width of i don't know 60 percent something smaller than the whole page um that's page 01 i probably did it on index page hold on go back to the beginning cool so that's um that's that um if you hate that it's not centered you can give this container a margin of auto and that will not work or you can do a <laughs> sorry i'm trying to make this easy and it's like making it harder text align center that will not okay <laughs> Okay, container, it's fine. Don't make it centered. Um, but like the width could be 80%. Maybe that would help. And then margin auto. Probably gonna be a little bit off still, but better because the image is like not centered. Um, okay, moving on. See, and now because I'm in the style.css, I don't have to do it to this page and this page. I just have to do it here. And it fixes everything else. Okay, page 01 um, should go to page 02. And back should go back to the index page. And then we just keep going. Page 01, we're going to like save as page 02. Um, yep, make sure it's the right folder. Save. And then we just have to say step three. Do something, whatever, tear, pull, tear, tear the bag. Um, and this one becomes, or page two, this one becomes page three. This one becomes page one. And um, this one will delete back to here. And then if I do forward slash, it'll tell me what I have. So what do I have? Pull, tear, uh, okay, tear the bag. Cool. So you, do you get the gist? Um, the one thing I didn't do yet is like alt tag. So I would say I would make this like tear the bag. And I would add an alt tag to the arrows probably the first time I put them in a page. So I don't have to go back and paste. Um, but left arrow and then so you can use spaces in alt tags just not like um in class names because it makes two different classes left arrow right arrow cool um and then on and on until you have five pages and when you are ready to turn it in here is what you will do you will you'll Test it out. Make sure you can go forward and back. Um, looks like I need some, I need to fix some stuff. But um, yeah, fix all the stuff. 
there is no page for. So it's like, can't get it. Um, when you're all set and it's working locally, go to GitHub Desktop. Go to Changes if you don't have it open. It'll show you all the things you changed. Keep all keep this one checked. You want to check everything in and say added homework one or whatever. But commit to main. This commits it to your computer, right? So if I go to history, I will see added homework one. But this is only on your computer. I can't get to it. So then you want to push it to GitHub. So push origin means that it will go to GitHub. Ba, 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 ba. And now if I go here and I hit refresh, here it is. Um, if you're struggling with GitHub, totally get it. Just send me, just send me this link. Um, if you want to be fancy, here's how this link will work. Um, it will be basically your, your base URL, which is your, your server slash homework slash HW1. And as long as your first page is named lowercase i index.html, it will find it. So new tab, paste slash homework slash hw1. Oh, cool. Sometimes it takes a minute. There it goes. See that? Sometimes it takes like five minutes, so don't panic. If you can't get this working, don't freak out. There are a million things that could have gone wrong. Um, and all of those things are great because you're going to learn from them. So um, just just send what you have. Um, just make sure it's not the like 100, like 127.0.0.1. I can't get there. Um, this is on your computer, not on my computer. So um, yeah, if you if you got like as far as you just have your index page up here, but you don't know why your homework's not up there, just send that in a, like when you post to canvas, just, um, send me this just so then I'll have your, um, your GitHub name. I can help you that way and just say, <clears throat> here's where I got. It's working on my computer, but I can't get it to work on GitHub. Whatever's going on, just leave me a note and I will go through it. Um, and yeah, deep breaths. This is a crazy amount of stuff I'm cramming into your brain. So just remain calm. All will be well. Um, and you'll make really cool shit in the end. Um, okay. Thank you. I will see you soon. Bye.